Would you like to keep your Dash wallet secure and make sure you never lose access to the Dash and make sure it's safe against hackers, spyware, and even your roommate just hopping on your computer to steal your cash? Here's how you encrypt your Dash wallet. Encryption is how you keep your wallet safe so that someone can't just grab your wallet.dat file and run off with your Dash. Encryption is an essential feature of the wallet. You need to use encryption. However, encryption also gives you the ability to lock yourself out of your wallet. Now, on a wallet like this, I have no worry about locking myself out of it because I can simply just open it up and get in at the cash. It's not that simple with the Dash wallet and it's not as simple either. If you go to my website and you create an account on my website and you lose access to your account, you can just reset your password via email or as the administrator, I can reset your password, it's not a big deal. However, if you encrypt your Dash wallet, if you use this encrypt option and you put a passphrase in there that you ever lose access to, you will not be able to get your Dash back. And that to me is one of the biggest risks of using a Dash wallet with encryption. I encourage you and the Dash development team recommends definitely use encryption because it is very easy for a hacker or for someone just getting on your computer to steal all of your Dash in very little time if your wallet is not encrypted. For example, if you have someone over to your house who knows about crypto, they happen to walk in for a minute, look at your computer, they very in less than five minutes on your computer can empty your entire Dash wallet out if it's not encrypted. This means encryption is both necessary and it is dangerous. I'm going to show you how to mitigate the risk of encrypting your wallet and losing the passphrase. I will give you a complete system here to make sure you never lose access to your passphrase and that you encrypt your wallet safely and therefore it is secure for life. I recommend, you see this is an unencrypted wallet right now. It has the option to encrypt up in here. That means anyone who walks in and opens my computer can use this Dash wallet. Now there's nothing in it. However, if I had something in it, that would be quite unsecure. Any hacker taking my wallet.dat file could immediately empty the Dash out of it and it could even write it to, to do it automatically without even necessarily opening the wallet up. Just load it onto a remote server, automatically take out the Dash. We want the wallet encrypted. So here's how I recommend encrypting it. First, make sure you encrypt your wallet before you load it up with any Dash and make sure you can lock it, unlock it, close it down and lock it and unlock it again. Make sure you've got access to it before you put any Dash in. If you mess up the passphrase and you lose access to it immediately, I've done that signing up on some websites. I put the password in immediately and messed up and lost access to my account. If you do that with your Dash wallet and there's no Dash in it, so what? Do it before you get any Dash in it. Now, how do you keep the password safe? I've seen some people saying, well, you just write it down. That is not enough. This is not an account where you create a web on a website and someone can help you. You need something better than writing it down because if you forget it and if you lose access to what you wrote down, that's it. There's no administrator reset. There's no get a text on your phone and get back in your account. So here's what I recommend using. LastPass. It's on my website at jerrybanfield.com slash resources. You'll see it under the title Secure Online Passwords on every device. Now LastPass offers a cloud backup. So LastPass has my wallet. If you click on the link here, you can get a month of premium membership for free and you'll help me get a month as, for free as well. When you use LastPass, I'll show you how it works on the link over here. It has both an option to have it on your phone and directly in the web browsers. You'll notice I have a little LastPass icon in my web browser over here. I use LastPass to keep all of my passwords. This way, when I have my Dash wallet encrypted, I've got my password is in LastPass. 
and that way LastPass allows me to print out a copy of it to have in case that LastPass goes down. I've got my password on hard copy then with LastPass and then let's say my house burns up in a fire and I forget my wallet password. Then I've got the option to go into LastPass online and get my password back. This to me offers the ultimate level of security. Obviously, if LastPass gets hacked and all their passwords go down, then you would need to make sure to change your password as soon as possible and they would let you know about that. I've been using LastPass a couple of years. I've been recommended this by other security experts online in the crypto space specifically, so this is what I use. Now, the key with LastPass, you need to make one strong master password. If your master password is weak, then anyone can just jump right into your entire LastPass account. So the key is to have one strong master password and then you can keep all of your other passwords in there. In fact, you can make all of your other passwords extremely secure then. You can generate secure passwords using LastPass and that way you can have complete security, no way for anyone to simply guess your passwords. The key, however, is you've got to have that one super strong master password. I recommend a long, impossible to guess master password and I recommend someone else needs to be able to get into this for you. Someone you trust absolutely. For example, my wife, I want her to be able to get into my LastPass account because if something happens to me, I want her to be able to go into my LastPass account, grab my Dash Wallet password, unlock my Dash Wallet, and be able to take the funds out whenever she needs them. When you're thinking about encrypting your wallet, please think about this kind of long-term solution. If you just write your password down in your wallet, you get drunk one night and hit your head and lose your wallet and forget your password, that's it for your dash. If you use LastPass, it won't be that easy unless you lose your master password, in which case they might be able to help you get back in though. Once you've got your LastPass master password set up, you can simply add websites generate passwords for them and what I recommend for your Dash wallet, use LastPass or something similar and just generate a copy and paste secure password. Generate something that's impossible to guess, that's like 24 characters long, that's got all kinds of symbols in it and then you go use that you go use that to encrypt your wallet before there's any Dash in it and then you paste that in there and then once you've got that pasted in there, you have the ability to be able to have your wallet completely secure without worrying about anyone stealing it and you don't have to worry about losing access to your wallet. You'll have the password backed up online. You should print out a copy of your passwords as I've done and put them in a secure location in case the LastPass online service goes down and you could even try and make a password that you might want to just remember. That way you wouldn't have to look in the LastPass every time to unlock your wallet. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. I'll show you something here. You'll see I did have some Dash in this wallet that I used for the other tutorial. Now I'll go over to Encrypt Wallet here. I'll do this right and I'll do this wrong. So what I need to do is open a website. I just open the LastPass browser here. So 